Thank you, Trailer Told. Let's start now. Hi, this is CT20, a procedurally generated survival sandbox. It's beautiful walking around here, even after a nuclear disaster. I'm Matteo Sosso and I've been working on this project as a game director for more than two years, yet I'm still fascinated by this place. Even if we are on a quest for survival, there's some magic when the street lights are turned on. And something that in other games may be given for granted, like night lights, in City 20 it's not a scripted event, but the result of a complex system interaction. Each faction in City 20 has its own way to generate electricity, and if you are smart enough, you can also build your own personal power network. And this is the Rabbage factory, the faction HQ, and the NPC working here have to control the generator never runs out of coal, which in turn is generated by the wood gathered by the lumberjacks. Since it's really important for the faction, this is a restricted area and we actually sneak peeking with our debug camera. In a quarantine city, getting access to power is vital. That's why if you manage to get blueprint and materials required, you can also build your private network. Here I'm building the electricity matter needed for connection and the generator to produce the power. It's a matter of getting the right blueprint and materials and choosing the right place to place it. And it works! Let's check the fridge, up and running, and if I need to spare fuel it's possible to disconnect the appliances directly or through the electricity matter. Uh, like in real life, in City 20 there are many things you can do with electric power and several items can benefit from it. And for example, the gun turret here is active thanks to the Modcast power network and fortunately it's not shooting at me as I'm not an outlaw in this faction yet. Modgas in particular have also advanced technologies like hydroponic cultivation rooms or meat replicator, but I feel more like the old times today, so I'd rather look for something more classic, like electric stoves or ovens. Cooking with an electric oven allows you to get much better food than the raw ingredients both for your anger and to trade your plates for money or for other objects. By the way, fancy some baked mushrooms? More than just providing a labor for its production, NPC in C20 do actually care for their hard-earned power. Electricity matters and power supplies are quickly reactivated or repaired as soon as somebody noticed the lack of energy when the appliances stop working or the lights go out. I know I'm being really annoying here. And this is just a small taste of what you can do interacted with our electricity system. You can benefit from your own generator or use the faction network engage or interfere with supply chain or even use a power failure to distract NPCs. You can choose the way of building or the way of sabotage. Or both, why not? Wait, what if I try something more dramatic? Oh yes! It's so beautiful at night. Thanks for watching. See you soon for the next update on game systems. And don't forget to wishlist, please.